Okay, that was an easy, easy problem to solve. Now, the next problem is a bit harder and it really will make a difference. It's important to know why this is a problem. Currently, we, our program can only draw lines that lie in between um, an absolute gradient of 1. That means that the line can't be steeper than that or that. That gives us 45 degrees on each side of the x to work with. And the problem being that it's just our method of drawing a line. Because what we're doing is, as you can see, we're looping through all these x values, getting the corresponding y value and putting a pixel there, right? And because of this, we can only put one y pixel for every x pixel that we have on the screen, or well, that we that we loop through. So any lines that are steeper than an m value of one, these y values. Okay, let me just quickly erase this line so get confused. Erasers are big. These y values don't get drawn. You only get to draw one y for every x. So uh, that's not going to be drawn. We don't tell it to draw that. That is how your line is going to look if it's steeper than 45 degrees. Um, now how do we get around that? Well, if it works when we loop through all the x's, then why don't we just draw the line from the y-axis? In other words, we're going to now loop through the y's and get the corresponding x values. That's all we're going to do. Right, so here's our little formula for doing everything according to the x-axis. So, what we have to do is we're just going to separate this out Determining if the line is more than 45 degrees or less than 45 degrees, we're going to use the M. So let's just work out the M anyway. And then we're going to say if the M is... We have to use the absolute value of M, remember, because M could be minus 1 as well, then it doesn't work. So we have to say absolute value of M is greater than 1. Okay, so now we have a little if statement here that can differentiate whether the line is going to make little gaps or not and then whether to draw it according to the y-axis or the x-axis. But because we are now going to draw it from the y-axis, um, if you can imagine that this was your up and down and if you now twist the graph around, in other words it's lying on its side, obviously the x-axis will now be standing upright and that will become your new up and down. So when you work out the m, you have to work out m again, but this time inversing the gradient formula by including by making x at the top, so it becomes xa minus xb divided by uh, ya minus yb. Then you work out the c. The c formula stays the same, um, it just stays the same then you run your loop again so then for we're still going to use x here because we don't want to declare an extra variable we don't need to so we're just going to say for x is y a remember we're running it from the y now to y b to begin and end and just going to get this draw pixel thing over here but you have to now remember that we have swapped our x and our y so this also has to be swapped this now has to become y and that now has to become x and uh, remember that little problem we ran into with the first value of the x being greater than the last value of the x I'm going to cut that out there and I'm going to only do that when we don't need to um, use the inverse line drawing formula thing um, and you can see that this is now our inverse line formula uh, let's just make this nice so you can differentiate between the two equations so this is this is now going to happen if m is greater than 1 now we're going to make an else statement else if it's not then just use the thing we always used which is this one 
and in the else I'm going to place the swap X thing. And there you see that now it will swap the X. But we still need this swap thing for if the Y's aren't like that. So we're just going to copy this whole thing here. We're going to paste this in here. So it'll let me just change this to Y. It'll change the, so you know, swap the Y values around where they need to be swapped around. And then, uh, we're going to leave the temporary variable as XT. That doesn't matter because variables are variables and it's just for us to differentiate between them. Okay, I don't know where I left off last. There's a glitch and then suddenly the thing through a blue screen. Uh, it's not a stay. But anyway, here is now the formula for it. Uh, like I said, look, we're going to check if the M is greater than 1, and then we're going to work out the new M, inversing them obviously, doing the X first, then working out C, then swapping the Y's if the one Y is bigger than the other Y. And then we're going to loop through the wires and put the corresponding pixels in their proper place. And you can see when I run this, it draws a line without any gaps, like down. I wanted to say straight down, but it's not straight down. Now let's change these Y values so it doesn't become straight down. So it just becomes a little bit steep, well, a lot less steeper. You'll see that it still draws a line properly. Um, I don't know if the quality on this video would be good enough, but okay, you can, you can, when you do it for yourself, you'll see that it doesn't. So what we've now established here is a line drawing function. We can give it an x, a, a two points, a x a, x b, y a, y b, and it'll draw the line for us. And that is how the computer draws a line. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to now actually change this little procedure that we wrote in the on startup of Delphi, change it into a proper function we can call, and after that we'll discuss how we draw 3D lines and display them in 2D space.